looking for their second win of the season. And shoot does get the ball to come back in a bit. And Matthews just a little bit out in front of the pads there. Pass be a little bit quicker, shorter. Matthews punches that away beautifully for four runs behind square leg. Again on leg stump. And Matthews, they get the call through for the single. Oh, direct hit might be interesting. And we do have our first wicket. Great throw there from Megan Shoot. Got Messi. Now driven off the outside edge. It's going to race away to the boundary for four. So Jones is on eight. Steps across the offside. Clips it in the air. And it's going to be out. Easy catch taken by Amanda J. Wellington there. Hit in front of the pads. Ball's been going up. A couple of nearly caught in bowls. Wellington bowls. And there, well, on cue. I reckon that's out, and there you are, caught and bowled. Matthews doesn't seem over keen about going just yet. Who yeah, made a good start in the first over, and oh, that's bowled her. Kershaw got too far across. The ball turned a little bit. It still hit leg stump. Brown in again, quick and driven straight back down on the onside. Oh, it can't be stopped there by Wellington. That will go to the boundary. Dotton, it's the bowler, it's wide and it's cut away and you, she will find the boundary. Lovely shot between gully and point. Make that of what you like. <laughs> On leg stump, that's a good shot. Excellent shot through square leg by Carly Leeson. It'll go to the boundary for four runs. Here's Megan shoot. Now that one's hit over the top. And she found the gap, indeed. Excellent shot by Carly Leeson. Strikers batters watching this. Now skied. Bit of a top edge on it was. It's gone high out in the outfield. Katie Mack rarely drops those. She takes it comfortably then. So that's the end. It's a little bit of tennis ball sort of pace about the deck, isn't there? Another shorter ball. Wolves whacked away there. Nicely by Leeson. Can Mack get there? Katie Mack can't make it. Batting well. Doing a good job. Notchins. Shorter ball. Oh, smashed away magnificently for six by Ellie Falconer. Darcy Brown, that's a little bit quicker, it's shorter though, uh, oh, whipped away by Carly Leeson, she goes into the 30s. Different shots. So to complete her spell, a oh, bowler straight through, Falcon has gone and Darcy Brown. Balls left in the innings, had love a couple of boundaries in that. And that's a nice shot by Presswich behind, excuse me, will they attempt the two? Yes, so, oh, there's a oh, mix-up. No. Oh dear, at least in one or two. Well, I'm not sure what they really wanted in the end. And unfortunately, it's Carly Leeson. <laughs> Bit of bounce there as well. Oh. And we see a replay this time. Tegan McFarlane doesn't miss the opportunity. Just waited, whipped the bales off. Oh. And another wicket there, Ella Hayward. Well, goodness me. It was just almost a replay of what we've seen the last three balls. And now she finds a... She goes. Smiles, swings around, hits the ball. Hits the ball high, out into the deep, and the catch is taken by Megan. Shoot, three wickets in four balls. But Amanda J. Wellington finishes with five wickets, three in the last over. Incredible spell of bowling. Five for eight. So here's Ishmael, bowls first ball, and it's defended away by Dotton. Ishmael bowls, this, oh sure, that was quicker. And it's worked away down to fine leg, and they'll pick up a boundary. A couple of international stars, head to head here at Karen Rolton Oval. This one's heaved away. Oh. oh, it's just, it does penetrate the ring field. They'll come back for a couple of runs. No, they won't, it'll go all the way to the boundary, so. Matthews and Mack, oh, that's a good shot. That is a beautiful shot, shot of the day. Oh, a big one at the moment. That's all. Oh, that could be a first wicket to fall, will it? It will be. Got the outside edge of the bat, did Katie Mack. It's Wolvart on strike, facing Presswich. Oh, and gets lucky. The good old fashioned French cut. Presswich, and that one's hit beautifully. Through point, down to the boundary for four runs. Falconer came charging around, couldn't quite get there. Drinks break can often bring a wicket. Here's Coit. 
Dotton cuts and beats the field. And it's Courtney Webb, who's normally pretty good in there. Ismail bowls. And here we go. Dotton goes big over the fence, almost over the rope, into the fence. Six big runs. If they, mm. Even if they win their four matches, they might not make the next stage. Wolvard gives herself room, drives on the up. What a good catch by Sophie Molyneux. An absolute ripper. Now, Coit's got the only two wickets to fall, and here's Dotton, hammers it through mid-off. It should go for four, it does. Every ball counts in this format. Here we go, on middle stump, dragged away over the top of the player who just got moved. That's right. Here's Sophie Molyneux, bowling to Dotton. Dotton goes bang, and that'll be a half century to Deandra Dotton with a massive six over wide mid-on. Powerful blow. And she moves up to 54, brilliantly batted. Molyneux to complete her over. Bowls a quicker ball. McGrath whips it off the toes, down to deep square leg. And that completes a victory to the Adelaide Strikers. The two captains, how ironic is that? The first to shake hands. Terrific game of cricket from the Adelaide Strikers. They, right from the start, from the moment they picked up that run out in the second over, they bowled well throughout that innings. And then it was a, a comfortable win with, a, what are we, 18 free overs to spare.